Well, I'm in Portland, Oregon today. I'm going to ride the Max into downtown. And I'm gonna share with you a thought that, uh, that I've been thinking about how to lead worship. A little bit of a tip. And that tip is, don't eat the plates. So, stay with me. school of geese behind me. I'm just kidding, I know it's a flock, but they're creeping me out a little bit. Look at this one over here. They're starting to surround me. They're either going to mug me or they've accepted me as one of their own. Anyway, so I am a worship pastor at my church, and recently we were uh, getting ready for the worship gathering. We were in rehearsal. And we were working really hard on sounding really good. We were succeeding. I think we were sounding really awesome. And uh, when the band is sounding good, I often find that it kind of want, makes me want to work even harder to sound even better. <laughs> and so we were, you know, making all of our uh, cues really tight. We were talking about where the song breaks and uh, tightening up our vocals. We were, we were sounding awesome. Rehearsal's done before the worship gathering starts. The band meets in my office and we pray and we just kind of take a breath before the service starts. I felt like I, at least, was really focused on the music and on sounding good. And so I wanted to just kind of remind us as a band that that's, that that's good. I mean, it's awesome that we sound great and, you know, we're musicians, we work really hard at that. It makes a lot of sense. It's beneficial to the church if we sound good and if we lead worship well. But I just want to remind us to keep in mind to remember what we're actually there for is to engage with God in, in worship and to help lead all the people into, uh, into engaging in worship. I know that when the church gathers, you know, we all come in with who knows what on our hearts. Some of us have had a great week, others are going through struggles. Um, you never know, but I love that God knows. And no matter what we're carrying, I know that when we come and gather together and call out to Him, the Holy Spirit just, I know He speaks to our hearts, and I know He meets us where we're at. And so I wanted to remind us all that that's truly what we're there for, to, to meet with God in worship as a community, as a body of Christ. If you use the uh, metaphor of, say, a meal, if the worship gathering is a meal, the hard work that we're doing as a band is sort of like the plates that the meal is served on. I just wanted to remind us that those plates are not the meal. <laughs> There's some food that we're going to be serving up on those plates, and that's communion with Jesus. That's hearing from God, reminding ourselves who He is, and what He's done, and that's us responding to God uh, with our hearts. We use the music and the lyrics we sing as a vehicle for that. But that's actually the meal, that's the meat that we're serving. Or, you know, if you're a vegetarian, that's the uh, vegetables that we're serving. And so all the work that we're doing musically and all that is good and beneficial, but it's the, it's the plate that the meal is served on. So don't eat the plates. I kind of wonder if maybe we could make that a little saying around, around the church that I'm a part of, <laughs> at least around the worship team. <laughs> You know, when we need to be reminded that all the hard work we're doing is good, but, but that it's not the focus in and of itself. We could maybe look to each other and just say, hey, don't forget, don't eat the plates. 
So that's my word of encouragement to you. Whether you are a worship leader or um, part of a church, remember that the music, the tech stuff, the lights, all of that is, is good. It's like having fancy china to eat off of. But don't try to eat the plates. If you like my channel, I'd encourage you to subscribe. My channel is about music and adventure. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.